this is a core removal tool and I'm going to demonstrate how to use this and if you wanted the part number there's the part number by master coal this is about 30 years old well not 30 years old 19 uh, well 1990 92 uh, when they first started introducing R134 was when I got this this is for removing the valve cores without losing your refrigerant uh, if you had a leaker you just finished your job you pull off your connector and you discover that the valve core is leaking this is a valve core tool for replacing that and this is on R134 so I'm going to show you how to use this in the next video I'm performing a recovery on this one I'm almost finished just recovering the refrigerant so once I have this under a negative vacuum and I have the refrigerant I will purge it with fill it back up with uh, nitrogen and I'll put it under a pressure and I'll demonstrate how to use this and as you can see I have never used these really big ones big 10 millimeter Cormax kind of uh, tools never ever you can see they're even rusting uh, I use this the most it's the cleanest and shiniest R12 and a few R134 use the small typical valve course but it mostly for the 134 it's these larger sizes right here these are the leakers and I have never used these I've never had a leaking on those on my video from about two days ago or so um, showing valve cores and my I think the title in my video was why you never have to remove the valve cores to do a vacuum and um, and I was explaining the size difference in valve cores compared to residential HVAC or commercial HVAC or the really old R12 system. So in the next video, you'll see me doing that. I'm going to go grab the nitrogen. This thing is uh, recovered out with refrigerant. I'll fill it up and I'll do a demonstration. All right, see ya.